Truth and reconciliation means to me about learning. Learning about a history that isn't written. It's about listening to people and their stories. But it's about acting on what I need to do, personally and professionally. How do I go out into my community? How do I talk to my friends? How do I talk to my family? How do I make sure that what I've now learned and listened to, that I act upon in my everyday? To me, truth and reconciliation means healing. Taking ownership of our colonial history. Truth and reconciliation means being honest and problem solving with everybody around you. Acknowledging our past mistakes that we have made in this country. Learning about the past, learning about our important history that happened here in Canada, we can really see what these Indigenous communities went through and together as a community we can help them heal from all of the difficult things they endured and hopefully we can learn from them for the future. Making sure that we commit to learning more and like filling in those gaps that we have. It's a time where you can repair the past and learn from the experiences. It's a system of education, a sense of connectedness, something to be proud of, the pride in being in Blackfoot territory, and the sense of belonging. Going back to uh, residential schools and the generational suffering, um, I think we need to be very truthful and forthcoming about the effects that it's had. Truth and reconciliation means making a friend, hearing their story, acknowledging their story, and then using their story to guide my actions. A beginning at an attempt to make amends for all the horrible things that the First Nations people in this country have had to go through in past generations and the struggles they still deal with today. Accountability and honoring those that didn't return and those that have survived a really painful history. The first laws in our country were to strip Indigenous folks of, of the land and of their culture and, and so we need to recognize that and to uh, and, you know, realize what the truth of our history is and our relationships with, with the land and with the Indigenous people has been uh, and, and to rec find ways of reconciling that. Uh, recognizing and taking accountability for Canada's history, um, continuing to educate myself and build um, an inclusive, inclusive loving environment for all. When we talk about the experience of people today and things that we have to deal with in society, we cannot deal with those when we're still denying the history and the fact of, uh, of uh, things that have impacted people, that we continue to see those impacts today. Recognizing that we need to heal the groups that have been affected and work together to build up our communities and restore the cultures that have been lost. Acknowledging the past and the histories that we have all around us and finding ways to mutually move forward together and moving forward, giving them the support and resources that they need to heal. If we took on more traditional knowledge and adopted more Indigenous culture, the world would actually be a better place. It means opening up your heart and mind to new ways of thinking, to Indigenous ways of knowing and being. An awakening to the history and a creation of healing and reparation for the future. For me, it's you know, about listening. I listen to the stories of those who have survived residential schools. We didn't always have the privilege of getting to see the, what really was happening. The history that I was never told growing up in any of my years of school or many schools that I attended, um, and through learning that history, it will help me to be a better friend. Remembering the things that happened in the past and making sure to teach them honestly. To take a step back and learn and grow as a person in a way that can not only benefit society, but just really makes up for a lot of the harm that was done. And it's up to us to make a difference and to make it better for the future. It's our duty to stay vigilant and aware. Learning about Indigenous ways of knowing and being and integrating that into my own values. Listening to other people's stories and being able to educate myself and others on Indigenous culture. Um, I think it's an opportunity for us to reflect and remember uh, the events that took place in our country. Being able to um, hear other people's stories and the troubles that they went through and help educate others and try to make things right. It 
means restoring the valuable richness of indigenous people's cultures. Understanding that things that have happened in the past still have an effect on people like hundreds of years later. We need to take the time to acknowledge the full scope of the harms that were done to the indigenous people. To me, truth and reconciliation means a chance to learn, to educate ourselves, and above all else, to listen. A lot of people don't know what happened to our people. I personally went to a boarding school. I'm a survivor. And the main thing that they don't know is the truth, the truth of what happened. Until we can um, get educated on the truth, then reconciliation starts. The truth really hurts, but it's also healing.